Clindamycin is an antibiotic useful for the treatment of a number of bacterial infections. This includes middle ear infections, bone or joint infections, pelvic inflammatory disease, strep throat, pneumonia, and endocarditis among others. It can be useful against some cases of methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus MRSA. It may also be used for acne and in addition to quinine for malaria. It is available by mouth, intravenously, and as a cream to be applied to the skin or in the vagina. Common side effects include nausea, diarrhea, rash, and pain at the site of injection. It increases the risk of hospital-acquired Clostridium difficile colitis about fourfold. Other antibiotics may be recommended instead due to this reason. It appears to be generally safe in pregnancy. It is of the lincosamide class and works by blocking bacteria from making protein. Clindamycin was first made in 1966 or 1967. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most effective and safe medicines needed in a health system. It is available as a generic medication and is not very expensive. The wholesale cost in the developing world is about 0.06 to 12 United States cents per pill. In the United States it costs about 2 United States dollars and 70 cents a dose. Medical uses clindamycin is used primarily to treat anaerobic infections caused by susceptible anaerobic bacteria, including dental infections, and infections of the respiratory tract, skin, and soft tissue, and peritonitis. In people with hypersensitivity to penicillins, clindamycin may be used to treat infections caused by susceptible aerobic bacteria, as well. It is also used to treat bone and joint infections, particularly those caused by Staphylococcus aureus. Topical application of clindamycin phosphate can be used to treat mild to moderate acne. Acne The use of clindamycin in conjunction with benzoyl peroxide is more effective in the treatment of acne than the use of either product by itself. Clindamycin and adapalene in combination are also more effective than either drug alone, although adverse effects are more frequent. Susceptible bacteria It is most effective against infections involving the following types of organisms, aerobic gram-positive cocci, including some members of the Staphylococcus and Streptococcus e.g. pneumococcus, genera, but not enterococci. Anaerobic, gram-negative rod-shaped bacteria, including some Bacteroides, Fusobacterium, and Prevotella, although resistance is increasing in Bacteroides fragilis, most aerobic gram-negative bacteria, such as Pseudomonas, Legionella, Haemophilus influenzae and Moraxella, are resistant to clindamycin, as are the facultative anaerobic Enterobacteriaceae. A notable exception is Capnocytophaga canamorsis, for which clindamycin is a first-line drug of choice. The following represents Mike's susceptibility data for a few medically significant pathogens. Staphylococcus aureus, 0.016 micrograms per milliliter greater than 256 micrograms per milliliter Streptococcus pneumoniae, 0.002 micrograms per milliliter greater than 256 micrograms per milliliter Streptococcus pyogenes, 64 micrograms per milliliter D test When testing a gram-positive culture for sensitivity to clindamycin, it is common to perform a D test to determine if there is a macrolide-resistant subpopulation of bacteria bacteria present. This test is necessary because some bacteria express a phenotype known as MLSB, in which susceptibility tests will indicate the bacteria are susceptible to clindamycin, but in vitro the pathogen displays inducible resistance. To perform a D test, an agar plate is inoculated with the bacteria in question and two drug impregnated discs, one with erythromycin, one with clindamycin, are placed 15 to 20 mm apart on the plate. If the area of inhibition around the clindamycin disc is D shaped, the test result is positive and clindamycin should not be used due to the possibility of resistant pathogens and therapy failure. If the area of inhibition around the clindamycin disc is circular, the test result is negative and clindamycin can be used. Malaria Given with chloroquine or quinine, clindamycin is effective and well tolerated in treating Plasmodium falciparum malaria, the latter combination is particularly useful for children, and is the treatment of choice for pregnant women who become infected in areas where resistance to chloroquine is common. Clindamycin should not be used as an antimalarial by itself, although it appears to be very effective as such, because of its slow action. Patient-derived isolates of Plasmodium falciparum from the Peruvian Amazon have been reported to be resistant to clindamycin as evidenced by in vitro drug susceptibility testing. 
Other Clindamycin may be useful in skin and soft tissue infections caused by methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. MRSA. Many strains of MRSA are still susceptible to clindamycin, however, in the United States spreading from the West Coast eastwards, MRSA is becoming increasingly resistant. Clindamycin is used in cases of suspected toxic shock syndrome, often in combination with a bactericidal agent such as vancomycin. The rationale for this approach is a presumed synergy between vancomycin, which causes the death of the bacteria by breakdown of the cell wall, and clindamycin, which is a powerful inhibitor of toxin synthesis. Both in vitro and in vivo studies have shown clindamycin reduces the production of exotoxins by staphylococci. It may also induce changes in the surface structure of bacteria that make them more sensitive to immune system attack, opsonization and phagocytosis. Clindamycin has been proven to decrease the risk of premature births in women diagnosed with bacterial vaginosis during early pregnancy to about a third of the risk of untreated women. The combination of clindamycin and quinine is the standard treatment for severe babesiosis. Clindamycin may also be used to treat toxoplasmosis, and, in combination with primaquin, is effective in treating mild to moderate pneumocystis gerevicki pneumonia. Side effects Common adverse drug reactions associated with systemic clindamycin therapy, found in over 1% of people, include diarrhea, pseudomembranous colitis, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain or cramps and or rash. High doses both intravenous and oral, may cause a metallic taste. Common adverse drug reactions associated with topical formulations, found in over 10% of people, include dryness, burning, itching, scaliness, or peeling of skin, lotion, solution, erythema foam, lotion, solution, oiliness, gel, lotion. Additional side effects include contact dermatitis. Common side effects, found in over 10% of people, in vaginal applications include fungal infection. Pseudomembranous colitis is a potentially lethal condition commonly associated with clindamycin, but which occurs with other antibiotics, as well. Overgrowth of Clostridium difficile, which is inherently resistant to clindamycin, results in the production of a toxin that causes a range of adverse effects, from diarrhea to colitis and toxic megacolon. Rarely, in less than 0.1% of patients, clindamycin therapy has been associated with anaphylaxis, blood dyscrasias, polyarthritis, jaundice, raised liver enzyme levels, renal dysfunction, cardiac arrest, and or hepatotoxicity. Breastfeeding Clindamycin is classified as compatible with breastfeeding by the American Academy of Pediatrics, however, the World Health Organization categorizes it as avoid if possible. It is classified as L2 probably compatible with breastfeeding according to medications and mother's milk. A 2009 review found it was likely safe in breastfeeding mothers, but did find one complication hematochesia, in a breastfed infant which might be attributable to clindamycin. Interactions Clindamycin may prolong the effects of neuromuscular blocking drugs, such as succinylcholine and becuronium. Its similarity to the mechanism of action of macrolides and chloramphenicol means they should not be given simultaneously, as this causes antagonism and possible cross-resistance. Chemistry Clindamycin is a semi-synthetic derivative of lincomycin, a natural antibiotic produced by the actinobacterium streptomyces lincolnensis. It is obtained by 7s chloro substitution of the 7r hydroxyl group of lincomycin. The synthesis of clindamycin was first announced by B. J. Magerlein, Rode Birkenmeier, and F. Kagan on the Fifth Interscience Conference on Antimicrobial Agents and Chemotherapy (ICAAC) in 1966. It has been on the market since 1968. The topically used clindamycin phosphate is a phosphate ester prodrug of clindamycin. Mechanism of action Clindamycin has a primarily bacteriostatic effect. It is a bacterial protein synthesis inhibitor by inhibiting ribosomal translocation, in a similar way to macrolides. 
It does so by binding to the 50 srRNA of the large bacterial ribosome subunit, overlapping with the binding sites of the oxazolidnone, fluoromutilin, and macrolide antibiotics, among others. The X-ray crystal structures of clindamycin bound to ribosomes or ribosomal subunits derived from Escherichia coli, Deinococcus radiodurans, and Haloarchora merismortui have been determined. The structure of the closely related antibiotic lincomycin bound to the 50 s ribosomal subunit of Staphylococcus aureus has also been reported. Market Cost It is available as a generic medication and is not very expensive. The wholesale cost in the developing world is about 0.06 to 12 United States cents per pill. In the United States it costs about 2 United States dollars and 70 cents per dose. Available forms Clindamycin preparations for oral administration include capsules containing clindamycin hydrochloride and oral suspensions containing clindamycin palmitate hydrochloride. Oral suspension is not favored for administration of clindamycin to children, due to its extremely foul taste and odor. Clindamycin is formulated in a vaginal cream and as vaginal ovules for treatment of bacterial vaginosis. It is also available for topical administration in gel form, as a lotion, and in a foam delivery system, each containing clindamycin phosphate, and a solution in ethanol, containing clindamycin hydrochloride, and is used primarily as a prescription acne treatment. Several combination acne treatments containing clindamycin are also marketed, such as single product formulations of clindamycin with benzoyl peroxide, Sold as Benziclin, Sanofi Aventus, Duic, a gel form made by Stiefel, and Acania, among other trade names. And, in the United States, a combination of clindamycin and tretinoin, sold as Ziana. In India, vaginal suppositories containing clindamycin in combination with clotrimazole are manufactured by Olive Health Care and sold as Clinzup V. In Egypt, vaginal cream containing clindamycin produced by Biofarm Group sold as Vagiclin indicated for vaginosis. Clindamycin is available as a generic drug, for both systemic, oral and intravenous, and topical use. The exception is the vaginal suppository, which is not available as a generic in the USA. Clindamycin is marketed as generic and under trade names including Cleosin HCL, Dallison, Linkison, Bangladesh, Dallison, and Clindison. Combination products include Duic, Benziclin, Clindoxyl and Acania, in combination with benzoyl peroxide, and Ziana with tretinoin. Veterinary use The veterinary uses of clindamycin are quite similar to its human indications, and include treatment of osteomyelitis, skin infections, and toxoplasmosis, for which it is the preferred drug in dogs and cats. Toxoplasmosis rarely causes symptoms in cats, but can do so in very young or immunocompromised kittens and cats. References External links Clindamycin drug information from LexiComp. Includes dosage information and a comprehensive list of international brand names. NCBI